Hey there, everybody. It's Bob with Trade Genius. Got my good friend Phil here. So in the next two weeks, is Phil going to be right or am I going to be right? Stay tuned. We'll explain. Trade Genius. All right, Phil, I've been in the camp of the lower high. The trading today, nonetheless, you show me some data here that you probably are going to be right for an all-time high. And I'm going to let you take it away and show people the math. Yeah, so looking at the chart here, you know, we're just pulling this last range that we had from the uh, previous swing lows of the market on the weekly time frame on up to the recent highs, the recent all-time highs. So we've had this, you know, real steep pullback, technical correction, if you will. The reason why I say that is because we came down, we hit that FIB level down there at the 786, right? So it was a deeper retrace, but still it held, it holds up on an ABC pattern and the C pattern or the C part of that uh, pattern now can impulse higher. Now, to your point of a lower high, typically if we're gonna get a lower high on the S&P 500, it won't go past the 786 on the upside. So we saw it on the downside and we just exceeded it on this move up here to the upside. Just a, a really exaggerated move up here that rivals things that we usually see in a bear market. Bear market is when you see these types of moves up. And so that's why I was giving Bob some leeway on that call for lower high because that this type of move isn't actually really bullish. Normally it's bearish because they come in a bear market and volatility gets really wacky in bear markets. But we've gotten over that hump. So now what we have is another little bit of a pullback as we guys saw today that's red, but that's part of a, like a smaller ABC move. So if Powell doesn't blow this market up like he did in 2022, if you remember he said there's gonna be pain and uh, the market sold off from that. But it's a little different environment now because primarily the core PC numbers and things like that have come down quite a bit and they're getting closer and closer to that 2% threshold that they want to see. So I think that given where we are here, Bob, given that they know that, you know, recession's around the corner, they're not going to say that, but they know it's coming. He really can't afford to be too hawkish here because they are going to have to start doing cuts. I mean, the market has generally accepted that September, we're going to get at least 25 basis points. What the market does between now and then probably dictates whether or not we get 50. Um, so we count on 25 and the market typically is going to run up into a news event like that, buy the rumor, sell the news. So we have our FIB extensions now. Uh, the reason why we respect these FIB extensions is because we have pretty good respect on the FIB numbers on this current pool that we have here. So that's going to take us to that first red line up there, just over 5,800. And then the second, ter the secondary target, where, whereas where I think we really blow off to is just over 6,100. And the time frame for that to me would be now October, maybe into the election. We'll have to see how that goes. But in between then, I think, Bob, we're going to see a seasonality of where we push up into the middle of September, probably OPEX week. And then across the board, no matter if it's election year and not election year, all the seasonals tell us that we should expect a pullback uh, that takes us out of uh, September into October. And especially in an election year, October rallies us into that election day. And so that's generally what I see happening here. Those are my two upside targets. Hey everybody, it's Bob with Trade Genius. Usually I do fun ads, I talk about our service, but I wanna be serious with you for a second. We've been helping a lot of people trading for a long time. As you can see here, I wanna let them do the talking for me for a change. But most importantly, we wanna help you too. If you've not joined our service yet, come check us out, tradelikeagenius.com. Full service, you know, we have chat room, we have the algorithms for you, we give trades out every day, we educate you. So go to tradelikeagenius.com, check us out. What you get out of our service, is much, much more than what you put into it. And we'd like to see you in the room. Thanks for listening. Yeah, and you know, it's not that far away, Phil. No. It's not like we're during the dream here. So yeah, it's really interesting to me. If Powell doesn't blow up the market tomorrow by saying something stupid, then I agree with you. Then we're going to push higher, at least through after the Labor Day, the short Labor Day week, which that takes us to the second week of September. And that's why I think we'll, we'll probably roll over for that rest of September, my view. And he'll cut in September. And then um, the only thing, the only caveat I have is if, pe if people truly believe that Kamala Harris is going to win this election, She's going to scare the dickens out of people, and they're going to want to cut their exposure to equities and all things risk assets going into the Communist Manifesto. So that's the only thing I would say that, that might scare people. But, you know, at this point, I think you're going to probably be right, Phil. What I thought interesting today was that oil rebounded really aggressively today into the Q sell off. So, you know, the scenario that's rolling around in my head is, you know, the 70s scenario, the early 2000s scenario where, where the Qs take it on the chin, but the 
the market rotates into something else and not actually just go into full on deflation mode. And doesn't mean we indexes could suffer, but you know, oil could do great, Bitcoin could do great, gold and silver miners can do great. And the indexes could be falling. Just look at 2000 and 2002 as an example and look at in the mid 70s as an example. The indexes got absolutely destroyed. But those sectors, you know, except for Bitcoin wasn't there, did just fine. And I think that's probably the scenario that I'm looking at first before the whole thing gets blown up. Yeah, I would tend to agree with that. So let's see what we get. Uh, we should be bullish from here on out. Uh, Jackson Hole speech tomorrow, hugely important, and I think dictates the next couple of weeks uh, into the end of the month. So let's see what we get. We'll come back tomorrow and evaluate the mess. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Let us know what you think. Do you think these targets are valid, or do you think we're going to just, this is it? Bob's right, low or high, sayonara. Let us know what you think. We'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Trade genius.